In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. My friends, we are in spiritual warfare. The life on earth is a warfare, as we read in the Old Testament. We have to encounter three principal any enemies in our spiritual warfare. And these three enemies would be that of the devil, the flesh, and the world that surrounds us. Today I've got before you, here's a statue of St. Michael the Archangel. And he's crushing the enemy, you can see the devil. He's crushing the enemy, the devil. So I'd like to present to you a, a book that I've mentioned before, and it's this one, The Devil You Don't Know, Recognizing and Resisting Evil in Everyday Life by Luis, or Luis Camelli. He mentions in the book four of the basic tactics of the devil. So remember the five the five Ds, starting with devil. And devil, St. Ignatius says that the devil is the enemy of our human nature. St. Peter says that the devil is like a roaring lion who seeks to devour us. We have to resist him in our faith. So what are the, the four Ds? the four different tactics of the devil. First is that of deception. John chapter 8, Jesus says that the, the devil is a liar from the very beginning. How true. In the Garden of Gethsemane, we see Adam and Eve underneath the tree, and who comes is the ancient serpent, comes and starts to speak to Eve. And he says to Eve, if they eat from that fruit, that they will be like, like gods. Eve says, no, if God, God says, if we eat this, we'll die. No, 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 no. You, you eat, your eyes will be open, you'll be like gods. So Jesus is going to go on in John chapter 8 and say that the devil is a liar and a murderer from the very beginning. So the, the devil wants to lie to you to to, to um, deceive you into thinking what is evil is actually good. Okay, the next would be that of division. The devil wants to divide us. You probably heard the, the phrase, in unity is strength. The devil wants to divide the church. The devil wants to divide political bodies. The devil wants to divide education. The devil wants to divide parishes. And very common is the devil actually wants to divide families. How many families today are split asunder because of some type of division? The next D would be that of diversion. One occasion there was a uh, a pastor that came from Africa, and he was talking to one of the American pastors, and the American pastor asked the pastor from Africa, what do you think is one of the greatest tools of the devil? And the pastor from Africa said, I believe it to be entertainment. In this country, there is so much, so much entertainment out there. Not to say that entertainment is, is is evil. You know, going to an amusement park, going to Disney or Magic Mountain or Knott's Berry Farm, or maybe going to SeaWorld, maybe going to the zoo. Really nothing wrong with that. However, 
we can become so engrossed and, abs and absorbed in having fun by entertainment that we can easily forget about God himself. How common it is in the parish life that a family will not go to Mass on Sunday because of uh, some type of diversion. Archbishop Vineron of Detroit is encouraging uh, the sports teams, the baseball teams, the sports teams, not to have their games on Sundays because this is pulling children, teenagers, parents, and families, pulling them away from attending, assisting, and participating in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass on Sunday. That's our principal obligation is every Sunday to go to Mass so that we can live out the commandment, keep holy the Sabbath day. So we've arrived at the, uh, at the last tactic of the devil, and that would be the devil of discouragement. San Ignacio Loyola uh, uses another word, which is very much like discouragement, and it's uh, desolation. Desolation is uh, a state of soul when there's a lack of faith, a lack of hope, a lack of charity. You feel somewhat uh, sad. You feel depressed. Uh, you feel that life doesn't really have meaning. You'd like to kind of throw the towel in. You'd like to give up. Life seems to be real, really a drag, and there's really no purpose in, in life. So when we find ourselves in this state of desolation, which is manifested by discouragement, then the devil tries to tempt us to do things that are, are just downright wrong. There are even people that are tempted to end their lives when they find themselves in a state of profound desolation. So my friends, I've given you today uh, the five Ds starting with the devil. The devil is the enemy of our human nature. The devil works to deceive us or to lie to us. The devil tries to divide. Never forget that the chain is as strong as its weakest element or weakest when you have a, a chain that has a chain, a length that's of cardboard is weak because of the cardboard. Then the devil works at diversion, trying to get us involved in so many things that we forget that the most important thing is God himself. And how many people miss Mass on Sunday? Because they're having fun in the park. And lastly, discouragement. We all have days in which we are are discouraged a little bit. Uh, perfect happiness can only be found in heaven. So I have a statue here of St. Michael the Archangel. And here you have a statue of St. Michael the Archangel that's actually crushing, stepping upon the enemy who's Satan. So I'd like with all of you to end our conversation this afternoon by praying to St. Michael the Archangel. When there are exorcisms, if you've ever participated in an exorcism, the priest invokes the holy name of Jesus. Then he evokes the holy name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary Most Holy. Then invokes also St. Joseph, who's known as the Terror of Demons. Then there's the invocation to St. Benedict, wearing the medal of St. Benedict is very powerful. And then also there is the calling upon Saint Michael the Archangel. So let's say the prayer composed by Pope Leo the Thirteenth as he saw the smoke of Satan entering the church. And let's say the prayer to this great Archangel who is our patron in our battle against evil, as we say. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, the Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power of God, cast in hell Satan and all the evil spirits that roam through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 
In the name of Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.